How's it going guys, Eric? Wow, it is really bright. The sun is coming down harsh. That's gonna make lighting look terrible. It's kind of early in the morning. It's like 8 a.m. So the sun's kind of low in the sky, but it is what it is. I'm currently here in Angleton, Texas, about an hour or so south from Houston. I'm at MSR Houston Race Park, or I don't know what their actual subtitle is. It's something like that. I've been here a couple of times before. Last time I was here a few months ago and I made a video of me and my friends at this go-kart track right here. But what I failed to mention in the video from what I can remember is that this place actually has a giant real big racetrack for real big actual cars. And that, my friends, is why I am here today. I'm here today taking in the 24 Hours of Lemons. And yes, indeed, that is a play on the name 24 Hours of Lemons, which is the really famous endurance race that takes place like, I don't know, I think it's in Europe somewhere. Ah. Recently, my friend introduced me to this series, which is a fairly popular from what I can tell. This series basically is where they race lemons or, you know, cheaply made kind of old cars. I have never been to one of these before, I've never seen one of these before, and technically I'm also supposed to be sort of working while I'm here to some extent, but I'm here with a friend of mine who is currently repairing his own car, which will not be in the race, uh, and I guess I'm just going to guys, take you guys kind of through the weekend and see what it's like. Alright, thank you for being here. This is a weekend long race. There is a lot of time out there. Take it easy, keep your eyes up. You are not going to win this thing in any given corner. And you're not going to win it. Well, you're not going to win it, but you're not going to win it particularly in any given battle. Be smart to get to the end. Don't try. This is not a 20 minute sprint. Don't try fighting for things that you don't need to fight for. Let it unfold and we'll all do better in the end. Go back out. See your number one guy up. Get him a lot of hydration today. It's going to be hot. A gallon per day per person. Let's go race. Here, like race is getting ready to start. He said Jan is working the carousel. Nice. Good. At the end of the front straight. Don't go well together.
So the race has been going on for a little bit while now. It's an endurance race, so they are really running, you know, cool, calm lap times. I've learned a lot while I'm here about uh, the way penalties work. Typically, penalties can range, you know, they don't want any contact. Like I said, it's an endurance race. The overall race, they're probably going to be racing for close to like 15 hours total over the next two days. So nobody's wanting to beat up their stuff too quick. And so therefore, as a result, you can be black flagged for just some contact, running off the road a little bit. You know, if your car obviously starts to blow up, you probably just got to come in anyways. Because like I mentioned at the beginning, these cars are not the nicest things you'll ever see. And honestly, everyone I've talked to seems like it's pretty darn fun. I still love this car. It's supposed to look like a killer whale. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And it is funny, whenever somebody does get black flag for spinning out or something, and they have to come into the pits and talk to people, is there a penalty? They have to come into the garage and actually like talk to like officials and stuff. And uh, they basically just, uh, you know, kind of passive aggressively ask them what they were doing. And it's pretty funny to see how that kind of plays out. So you don't want to get taken off track for any reason. And while, yeah, there are cars going by in the background. This track right here, you guys might recognize, this is the go-kart track they have here as well that I've raced on just for fun a few times. Looks like the go-kart track is open this afternoon. How about that? Maybe I'll have to hit that up at some point. Oh, geez, I missed it. This kid just spun out right here. Action all around this complex. They beat the call, though. day. This is a two-day event. They race pretty much all day for back-to-back -back days. Now, you know, obviously they have time off in the evenings and at night they'll start again tomorrow morning, but it's in the end, like I said, it's probably close to 14, 15 hours of racing somewhere around there, pretty close. Pretty wild. And for those of you interested, this car right here, the 777, is your leader at this point in the afternoon. This little car may not look like much, but it is currently running in second. And from what I know, this car, which has been blaring Japanese pop music most of the day, is currently running third. There's the front stretch over there. I'm now standing on like the opposite part of the course. The start finish line right around where they are now. So they head off into turn one down there. There are currently 55 cars in this race today, and from what I've heard, that's actually a fairly low number for the Lemons races. I've heard they can often get up over 100, sometimes in like the 110, 120s. This is pretty wild, pretty cool. Uh, some of these cars look amazing, or terrible, but that's what makes them amazing. I like this one, this is the NASA team car.
Dang. Day two, 24 hours of lemons. Yeah, picking up right where they left off. Yep, that about wraps it up. I had an amazing time this weekend. It was really cool to see what the 24 Hours of Lemons is all about. It seems like these guys just love working on cars, and it's just they're all, it's all about having fun out here. So that seems to be the the main theme. Really nifty series, and I might have to check it out again next time it's in town. Anyway, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, guys.